Gospel minimum number five is disciple others. And to that, we've attached the resource of intentional small groups. Just like Jesus spent most of his time with a small group of men, so we believe that the real life change that disciples are called to happens best in small groups. At Orchard Hills, small groups are not life groups. Life groups are groups of 10 to 15 people of mixed gender getting together to live life and do community together. Small groups are groups of two to five people of the same gender who are getting more into uh, the gritty details of life. Small groups provide a safe space to ask questions. They provide accountability for areas of sin and weakness, and they provide encouragement to love God and others more. Here's why we love small groups. They're one of the only situations in church where people are really being vulnerable and digging into some of their uncomfortable and difficult questions and areas of sin in their life. Also, small groups help provide accountability, uh, which is really one of the greatest tools that the Lord uses to shape us and change us. When we've got friends who are saying, hey, you said you believe this, why are you doing this? Or you said you wanted to live this way, let's work on this together, let's help one another, let's grow in the Lord and actually do what we say we believe together. So that's gospel minimum number five, disciple others. Thanks for listening and for wanting to be a better disciple of the Lord Jesus. Remember that we are not doing these things to earn God's love, but as a response to his love, to grow as disciples of his together. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to reach out to me or to contact another one of our church staff. We are so excited about all that God is doing among us as we come to him together, as we're learning to grow in him together, and as we go with him together to reach a lost and broken world desperately in need of the good news of Jesus.